Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video I just want to take a few minutes to talk about some improvements that I've made to my dividend tracker. So this is a Google Sheet that I made myself and I use it to track my Canadian dividend paying investments and I just use it over and above the broker or the trading app as well that I use to actually buy and sell the stocks just because I like the way that the information is presented and it's quickly um, accessible to understand what's going on with the account when it's kind of visualized this way. So over here in the summary, if you've been watching the videos, this is all the same. It just has the basic information about like the total account balance and the amount of dividends received and the total gain and loss and that sort of thing. And then also the pie charts here and the monthly payout of dividends. In the portfolio tab as well, it just has some more useful information here that I use for screening stocks if I'm considering adding to my positions with some formatting here like green and red for up and down and some other useful information. And if you have seen the other videos, you'd know that there's a couple other pages in here as well. So we have the Sparkline tab. I like this one where we can switch between um, some different time durations and uh, different stocks in the portfolio and quickly screen some of the basic information. It's also possible to use this for stocks that aren't in the portfolio because this pulls right from the portfolio tab. But for example, Dollarama is something that I don't have, but I can just type it in here and also get information for this stock. And then when I want to go back to the the positions that are in my account, I can just quickly switch here. There's a few other tabs. So we have also transactions, the deposits and withdrawals, dividends, and a tab for dealing with stock splits, which kind of gets nasty sometimes. We also have extra sparklines, which is just a quick screener here for like the one year sparklines of everything that's in the portfolio for a quick overview. And then a watch list of everything else that I don't currently hold, but I've just been keeping my eye on. So if you do like this dividend tracker, then it is available. You can get it in a link that's in the description below of this video so if you like it and you'd like to try it out go down there and check it out and give it a try but I wanted to talk about this video is some improvements that I've made because some people have already downloaded the dividend tracker and for those people it's just some edits to make to it or just to start fresh and for everyone else it's going to be really nice also going forward so to get started there was a slight calculation error in here and a big shout out to happy brother here for letting me know um, thank you for the comment and I've just wanted to let you know I have fixed it and everything is working properly now so thank you so much for that I was basically just missing a single subtraction here but now when you withdraw money from the from your whole portfolio like if you withdraw from your trading app then it will actually still display properly here something else that I did was in the transactions tab basically before you would be typing in information here so let's say we buy another share of Transalta renewables or something in February 1st 2021 and we put in a couple at some price I don't know what the price is right now, but let's say 30. Um, before you used to have to drag down each time um, the, the cells that are in white, but now it's automatic. Um, you can keep adding positions here and you only ever have to touch the cells that are in blue. You never have to touch a white cell. And here you can put in the commission because I always forget to put the commission in and it has, has a little reminder there. Now let's take that out because I didn't actually make that purchase, but you can see it just updates automatically. The same thing is happening in the dividends tab before you used to have to type in the dividend that you received and then drag down the formula, but it's all completely automatic now. So it's just less chance that you will make any errors. And I also updated the portfolio tab. So before, when you add a new position for the first time to your account, you still have to add it in here. But I've tried to make it a little bit easier now with the drop down list already present. And once you put something in here, it will also automatically update here. You can see all of the formulas in here referring to blank cells. So before you used to have to select the next row above and drag it down, but now it's completely automatic. So for example, if we had bought Dollarama, let's just check what the price is. And we can quickly run through an example like this. So the current price is about 50. So if we went through and we did a transaction with Dollarama on, let's say, February 1st, 2021, and we're going to buy two at a price of, let's say we got them for $48 and zero trading fee. Then we would have to come into the portfolio and we would add this in as number 34 in consumer discretionary and TSE DOL. And you could drop in the dividend as well. And I have it in my watch list already. So it was 18 cents. So we can just drop that in 0 0.18. And you can see here that this all the information here is automatically pulled up. We didn't have to drag down the formula again. So just trying to make it as easy as possible for everyone that's using this sheet.
But let's take that out and let's go back to the transactions and also take that out as well. Just to mention, if you are using this sheet, only add and delete stuff from the blue cells because if you accidentally select the white cells and delete it, uh, you're going to be deleting the formulas in here and that's uh, you try not to do that. If you did accidentally delete this formula, for example, like this in cell A121, you could always just drag the cell above or below it and bring the formula back into place. So it's not too big of a problem, but just watch out for that. But anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to say in this video. Um, just mention that this sheet is getting better all the time and always trying to make improvements for it that makes it easier for everyone to use. So anyways, if you like the sheet and you want to give it a try, remember the link is in the description below. And yeah, guys, if you like these videos, make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video and I will see you in the next one.